Yo, hello guys. In this video, I'll be giving you a tips that you use to maximize your chance of winning bet. So I want to be giving you some tips that you can use to maximize your chance of winning bet. And I am assuring you 99% chance of always winning than lose. So without wasting much time, I'll be using Sporty bets to show you all that. So let me use my Chrome Google Chrome to do that. Let me use my Chrome to do that. So let me Sporty. Let me use Sporty bet to do that, and I'll search. I'll search for it. So we are waiting for a Sporty bet <laughs> website to open. So as we are waiting for the Sportive website to open, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and also comment in the comment section if you want to be seeing videos or tips of this kind. So actually we are on the interface of Sportive Bet, waiting for all the games to load. So we can see some games have already loaded. So these games i know these things i know we have been we have been following them all but so i know we have been betting on this game but we don't know these tips but we don't know that these tips we can use it to maximize our chance of winning bet so that's why i'm here today to show you how to follow these tricks and you will be able to always win your bet so without waste my time let's get into it the first thing that i'll be talking about is the double chance how to make profit out of betting on double chance so i'll be showing you that how to make profit using double chance method So we are waiting for it to load. So I'm, sh I know that the video will take long, but you need to be patient and make sure that you don't skip any part of this video, so that you can get the details from beginning to the very end. So you need to stay with me from beginning to the end, so that you see everything with your eyes, so that you can maximize your chance of winning. So we are waiting for the side to load where i'll get to the games that haven't started yet so we are waiting for it to load okay i think it has loaded but not complete waiting for it to load so we are waiting for it to load you need to be patient and wait for it to load just be patient and wait for it to load we are waiting to see something here as I said, I'll be talking about the double chance. Okay, so we are waiting. So as I'm saying that I'll be talking about the double chance. So let's move to the double chance column. Let's move to the double chance column and I'll show you something. So let's say that you do your analysis and you realize that Scotland is going to be having a upper chance of winning the game. You know that Scotland is having a upper chance of winning the game, but you are also likely with like you are also seeing a likelihood of draw on the game, or let's say that you are seeing one team winning. Let's say if you see a particular team, one team winning, and that kind of bet, you can just place on this, you can just place on the home or away. I think that's the most appropriate way to go. Because if you place one more away, any of the teams that win, you are likely to of getting bet, and that is almost like it's always ninety nine percent, ninety nine percent of the games there is always a winner, and one percent of the game there is always a draw on it. So, for you to maximize your you're winning you need to make sure that you bet more on the home or away than betting on maybe home win or away win 
so you need to make sure that you focus mostly on the home win or away win and that is the most easiest way to maximize your winning so the second thing i will talk about on maximizing your chance of winning is the handicap about the handicap i'll be talking about handicap too that is the second thing that i will talk about so we we'll move to the handicap column let's say that you do your analysis and you realize that scotland is going to be winning the game but cyprus and scotland the winning margin is not going to be that high so you can decide to give cyprus handicap three so you can give cyprus handicap three that means you are giving cyprus three goals ahead you know that the the margin the winning margin is going to be maybe two one or three one or three two in that order but you are not expecting a maybe more than three goals range on it so this type of game betting when you are a better and you are using this strategy your probability of you making profit is higher than you making losses or let's say that you do your analysis and you see maybe scotland winning or drawing the game you can give scotland a handicap one ahead that means you are giving scotland one goal ahead before the game even starts so you are giving scotland a goal ahead before the game even starts so when you see something of this kind even when the game starts and they play on a draw still still you you are you still make profit on it you will still win your game the game will still win and you will make profit or let's say we move to Armenia and that of Turkey and you do your analysis and you realize that Turkey is going to be having the upper chance of winning and if Turkey doesn't win it's going to be a draw so you can give handicap one to Turkey and you're good to go and probability of you making profit out of this kind of betting is absolutely amazing so you're not going to go a lot of stress doing so much analysis on this before the only thing is just going to their head to head looking at their head to head and you're good to go what is the winning margin is it always broad or just will be a narrow narrow one if it is narrow fine if it is broad you focus on the team that normally score more goals on it and the third strategy that i'll follow is over and under the third strategy that i'll be talking about is over and under over and under so over and under what i'm trying to say here is like you can testify almost all the the games that play about 99 percent of the games the score goes the goal enter in it and if you want to maximize it and you don't want to maybe be the type that is stringy and you, you want to be making um, maybe small profits that can capitalize to be big so you make sure that you focus on the over and under column which you can either be betting on over 0.5 or or over 1.5 so but what i would say is that almost always focus on over 0.5 because that's the easiest thing that you can see on every bet that is the most easiest thing that you can see when you are the type that focus most on over 0.5 goals probability of you win almost all your games is higher than the person who normally predicts on whether we home win or away win so when you focus on that kind of like you focus on that kind of but now you take that kind of or that better strategy you are going to be winning massive all the time and maybe you now or you can go and implement the strategy when it works for you you can come back and thank me later but if you find the video valuable make sure you subscribe to the channel before i move you to the last strategy or tip that or 
that I'll be talking about that you can use to maximize your chance or maximize your chance of making profit on betting. So which is the first half? First half. I'll be talking about the first half. So this place I'll be talking about the first half. Home or away. First half home or away. So when you do your analysis mostly first half so let me even click on it to get it clear let me click on the blues and that of switzerland so i want to show you guys some details more details about it so under the first half color but for you to bet this kind of game you need to do some analysis ahead before <laughs> so you can move to first half let's see we can move to first half okay first half first half when you now you are now in the first half column you come to first half over or under go to the over and under column look almost all the games about 90 to 95 percent of the games the normal end on the um, first half with under 2.5 goals normal end on under 2.5 goals almost all the games the normal end first half on under 2.5 goals the reason is that they normally see that there will be a, there is more time to go so they don't normally put pressure on the others so if you are the type not normally want to be better on first half and second half i would advise you to be picking the first half more than the second half related to goal scoring let's say you are the type that normally better on unders so i would advise you to come to be picking the or i'll tell you to be to take this strategy or buy this strategy where you'll be better on under mostly under 2.5 goals on the first half or under 1.5 goals on the on the first half so if you check most of the games under 2.5 no, mostly enter on the games so make sure you try this strategy or you can try this all these strategies try them on different best strips test this so many times and you now see the strategy that work best for you maybe the strategy that may work best for me may not work best for you so make sure that you try all the strategies and now pick the one that work best for you and you come or you come back to the channel and say hey guy your strategy have worked for me and i love it and i picked this strategy and i'll be happy to see you smiling at the end of picking these strategies i think that is the conclusion part of my video i hope you find a value in it and if you find value in it make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video and comment in the comment section win or profit and i'll see you in the next one bye bye for now